Hi. Come in. Ask yourself if anyone has ever heard of professional courtesy when the opposing side can't even motion for a stand until everyone in the courtroom is there for 45 minutes anyway. I'm late. What's up? Something happened to Courtney? Not that I've heard of. You know what? What? The hell with why I called you over here. Why don't, why don't you and I get on a plane? and go to Puerto Rico. Puerto Rico? No, you know what? No, you're right. I mean, it's, I was, I don't know why I brought it up. I, I got uh, too much to handle here, you know, commitments I can't break. I just, you know, Puerto Rico was fun. I mean, you had a good time, right? I oh, mean, I, good. yes, yeah. I, I, I I liked everything about Puerto Rico. You should get drunk more often. I wasn't drunk. Whatever. I... I was a little tipsy. Oh, yeah, right. I guess that explains the dancing. And what was your excuse? Well, I mean, you wanted to dance, right? I, I didn't want to turn you down, and you were all flustered and breathing hard. And you had that gardenia in your hair and stuff, and... It's kind of lopsided, but... <laughs> are, are you trying to make me uncomfortable? No. no oh, you no. know, I, I, I like rum, okay? Right. And I like the view right. from my terrace, even though you paid way too much money for it. It was worth it. It was beautiful. Yeah. Well, you know, Puerto Rico is, is everything, you know? I mean, it, it, you can do a little business, and you can help out a friend, but then you got to come back to the real world. Um, I got a legal situation that may be a conflict of interest for you. If this is your way of trying to make me look the other way so you can bribe something or someone in order to help Courtney, you can do that over No, this is not body. about Courtney. It's not about oh, Courtney. All right, well, then is it about Mike? Did he do something? Oh, uh, he probably did, but I won't hear about it till afterwards. Um, oh. so, yeah. Okay, well, if it's not about Courtney and it's not about Mike and it involves conflict of interest, it's got to be about Carly. It's Jax. He wants to shut down my warehouse, turn it into rubble. Every one of your properties on the pier is condemned, taking effect in, within 12 hours. Why would Jax do this? How do you know it was him? You told me. Look, everybody knows that Jax dislikes you. Dislike? All right, he you... loathes you right. with a vengeance that knows no okay. bounds. But that's how you feel about him, too. It's this little game the two of you play. There's no reason that he would do this. Now, why would he choose to act on this right because now? Because of our Does relationship. Our what? You remember our relationship, the uh, one that, that you were telling me about the other night, the one that took time? Just get to the point. Okay, Jax is jealous. He does not like that you're my attorney. He hates the fact that you come when I call. He does not like when you, you know, you drop everything, get in a plane if I need your help. He is, he is uh, spoiled and judgmental, and for whatever reason, he, he, he thinks that uh, you need his guidance and protection, and it kills him that you're my uh, counsel. You get what I'm saying? And we're friends. So, um, if, you know, he shuts down my business, that means that, uh, you know, it's one step towards taking me down. Well, he hasn't given you adequate notice. The cops were serving me the papers when Courtney called, and, uh, you know, she's priority. I, I thought it could wait, and, you know, I mean, I'm not used to this family stuff. Well, if Jax is responsible for this, then uh, he's managed to sway the city council somehow. Well, maybe you can, you know, kind of buy me time and influence them in the opposite direction. I'm going to ignore the implications of that statement. Are you going to handle this or not? If you want, I can call a judge. I mean, I, I know some people Don't that... even finish that sentence. I'll handle it, okay? Just let me take care of it. Okay. See, that's what Jax hates, the fact that you, you're always fighting for me. Thanks, Judge Griffin. All right, she's going to research this on her own, and she will get back to me right away. 
Is there anything about the warehouses that I need to know that might be problematic? No, you know. Coffee beans, pallets, bags, you know. What, what, what happened, Alexis? What happened when? Well, I mean, what, I don't know. One second, we're, we're ready to play a hand of poker in Puerto Rico. And next thing, you know, I know we all hell breaks loose. Mike and the family, he forgot to mention. Jack's deciding he has to get rid of me right this minute, either to pay me back for Brenda or to keep you away from me. I can deal. I can deal with business complications, but this personal stuff is just not something that I deal with very well. Christina says it's Pluto. The dog? No, the planet. Huh. I told you, she's, uh, you know, All she's right. a little out there, you she know She comes up with some strange, right. you know, ideas. Pluto, uh, you know, is not her only cockamamie concept. Yeah. Like about you and me. Judge Griffin. Hello. Yes, Judge Griffin. Great. I'll have the papers on your desk within the hour. She's given us 30 days to argue the case, and if you can come up with a prior claim, then you can have control what do you, of the property. What do you got on her? What do I got on who? Well, no judge issues a ruling in my favor without a reason. <clears throat> I made a sound case. You for got some on her. Are you implying yeah. that I exerted some undue influence as an officer of the court? No, all I'm saying is, you know, you were going on about uh, prior communication and public knowledge. What was that about? That's none of your business. You got something on her, Alexis. You were squeezing her like a pro. I tell you what, if you ever quit uh, the law, I'll hire you as a debt collector. You're being insulting. And you're a duck in the subject. You got something on uh, Judge Griffin. You're not going to tell me? All right, I tell you what, I'll dig it up myself, and I will pressure her when I find out. You are I could an arrogant jerk. And don't flash those dimples, because extortion <laughs> is extortion. OK, you know what? You don't want to tell me? You know what I'm going to do? I'm going to call Benny. Because Benny can get any information that I want. It's amazing the information he digs up. All I got to do is say, hey, Benny, you got anything? He has it all. Judge Griffin wrote an unwise letter to a colleague of mine. She's human. We all are. People make mistakes. If you ever exploit that information to anyone at any time, you will find yourself another attorney. Got it? I would never use anything you told me in confidence. How comforting. Now that I've sunk to your level, I'm going to go across the hall and stick my head in the oven. Okay, well, about Puerto Rico, you know, um, it would it would have been fun, you know, if we kind of yeah, just wanted Yeah, but see, now I can't go because <laughs> I hate you. <laughs> but it's be fun, you know, if we just think about it, right? Like, just think about it. <laughs> fun. Necesito un favor, que me mandé un regalo para una amiga mía, muy hermosa, pero lo necesito inmediatamente. Ok, gracias. 